with ClickOrlando.com. This is News 6 at 9. Having an endless summer, there are all kinds of plants and flowers that bloom in Florida. From lilies to hibiscus, we tend to have favorite flowers in our yards and pots, but one that gives off, you know, the light but mm -hmm. fragrant senses. Mm -hmm. But at Rollins College, there is one rainforest dweller giving <laughs> off a scent that's really not pleasant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're talking about the rare corpse plant, and they have more than one of them. This is a live look at the greenhouse. It's buffering a little bit here, but the corpse plant you see here actually bloom the other night. There's another one that has yet to bloom. This is like a once in a decade event. New Six Insider guy Crystal Moyer went out to Rollins yesterday. Crystal, taking care of these plants is really a labor of love. Yeah, I feel like we should call it the Corpse Plants Watch. Yeah, yes, waiting for one. the other one to bloom. Yeah, that live stream has really come in handy this year. The students at Rollins College are taking exams right now and members of the public, they're not encouraged to visit the greenhouse because the corpse plants are there. They're being held in the student building. You know, it could be disruptive to them. However, I got to visit yesterday and see the first plant bloom. And let me tell you, I didn't know what was better seeing the rare plant or people watching and witnessing the funny expressions on their faces when they got a whiff of those corpse plants. There's only about a thousand of them left in the wild, so they're, they're a very rare plant. Its first bloom takes about 10 years, so to have one bloom is a rarity, and to have two bloom, it's almost monumentous. And it sure is a momentous time here at Rollins College, as the Amorphophallus titanum, also known as the corpse plants, start to bloom. Greenhouse manager Alan Christ has the green thumb that has bloomed these corpse plants several times before since acquiring the seeds in 2004. The stenchy achievement attracting the attention of Ripley's Believe It or Not. I love to watch the people, the expression on their faces when they come in and smell it and see it. So do we, Alan. So do we. I was there as kids and college students made their way to the greenhouse to view and smell the main attraction. <laughs> Some kids holding their nose as they entered. <laughs> So what do corpse plants smell like? Depends on who you ask. Rotting flesh. Of decaying lettuce. Mild fertilizer. It's not too bad. Take a whiff and tell me what you smell. Like rotting fish. <laughs> Is yeah, what I get. Like, it has like a wall. weird, like sort of fruity smell to it. Wait, did he just say the corpse plant smells like fruit? Okay. So I tell people it smells like Florida roadkill in the middle of summer that's been there for a few days. It smells exactly like that. Chris says there's a strategic reason for the foul odor. It's all about reproduction. It's trying to attract the pollinators, which are carrying beetles and flies, and they're attracted to the stench of rotting meat. And if the plant is lucky, with pollination, it will produce seeds and survive to bloom in another few years, growing as tall as 12 feet. The catch? The bloom only lasts about a day. All this effort, and basically, it, it opens around 3 o'clock in the afternoon, fully open at midnight, and basically by 6 a.m., it's kind of over. It starts closing up. The smell is not as potent, and uh, it's over. So I really enjoy sh uh, sharing it with others. Now, if you're wondering, yes, Haley, our producer's wondering as well, Chris did name the plants. The one that bloomed first that you saw in the video was named Adsilla, which is Native American for bloom. The second one is expected to bloom any day now and is named Racine, which is French for root. You can check out the corpse plants through Rollins' live stream. I posted a link on clickorlando.com slash insider ladies. So the smell of rotting flesh is what attracts the pollinators. I'm like, this explains what I'm doing wrong in life. Yes. You know, that's... <laughs> That's the you key, smell I guess. too good. <laughs> yes, the the plan. Plan. Something. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, Crystal, was it like really, I mean, were you surprised with, with the stench of it? You well, personally? <sighs> It wasn't too bad. Honestly, I mm -hmm. went in kind of thinking it was going to be unbearable. Yeah. But it wasn't that bad. But what Chris did tell me was that when it blooms around midnight, that's when it's mo the smell is most potent, just for a couple of hours. After that, it's already closing back up. So you, the worst smell of it probably came around midnight, which nobody should have been in that building anyway. So we missed out on that. But also, it's in a greenhouse full of other plants. So I'm thinking they kind of masked mm. the stench oh, just a yeah. little bit. And I'm not not complaining. What about the size? I mean, I think that's so impressive. And then when mm -hmm. you, you sort of think about the, the name of it and the smell, you think about Little Shop of Horrors. Yes. <laughs>
it's crazy to look at. I mean, they have, uh, there's two different rooms. So you saw the one that was blooming and there's another one that's closed and it's gonna bloom any moment. They can grow as tall as 12 feet. So these are some of the smaller ones, but mm. uh, you know, good facts here, they did pollinate some of those seeds over the past few years. So they have a bunch of little plants. Wow. Maybe in the next 10 years, we'll see some more. Stinky right. situation yeah. there, that's for sure. <laughs> Crystal, thank you.